Hello, my name is Melissa, and I'm a technical solution engineer at Google Next, helping developers on smart home integration with Google. We are excited about how Meta simplifies smart home device integration for developers. We also want to give you a better experience when integrating your Meta devices into the Google ecosystem. So today, I'm here to talk about Google Developer Tools for Meta and introduce our new Google Home IDE that streamlines the development processes and workflows in one place. Let's get started. As a developer, when integrating your smart home device with Meta and Google Home ecosystem, you will start with a developer board and a Google Next Hub. Your write code in Visual Studio Code or any other editors or command line tools. Then you build your program and flash onto the developer board. Next, to make your matter devices work with Google ecosystem, you will be visiting the Google's Actions Console to register, configure, and deploy a smart home action. Also, Analytics are available for developers in Actions Console after publishing your action. During development and testing, Google Cloud Logging, formerly known as StackDriver, gives you capability to see real-time logs from devices with details of your responses to sync, query, execute requests, and notifications. So, you can view and verify the payloads sent from your projects. After you successfully set up your devices to Google ecosystem, device state can be viewed in Home Graph Viewer, including device type, on-off state, brightness if it is a light, and whether the device is currently online or not. These are values that your project provided to Google in report state. Last but not least, Test Suite for Smart Home. It's a web application that allows you to self-test your actions before certification. It automatically generates and runs test cases based on the devices and trace associated with your account. When you complete these tests, the results are available in the tool and you can submit them for certification. These developer tools are essential and really make developers' lives easier on debugging and testing. However, they are scattered and all created as standalone web applications. So we want to bring all of them together and streamline your development processes and workflows in one place. We are excited to show you a preview of our work on Google Home IDE that brings developer tools together for matter with Google ecosystem. Google Home IDE is a Visual Studio Code extension to provide you easy access to all developer tools that we just went through. And the resources for matter like documentation and samples. For developers who are using Visual Studio Code to write code and flash build to your developer boards, you can easily leverage our tools by installing Google Home IDE. After installing Google Home IDE in Visual Studio Code, you can log in to your developer account and also import your service account keys with log access. From here, you will be able to use our assistant simulator to hand type alternances for testing your device. For example, turn on my light or set brightness to 30%. So you don't have to talk to the device repeatedly during testing, and you can even resend the utterance just with one click. Besides, 
Google Home IDE integrates with Google Cloud Login to show real-time data from your devices. So you can fill them in Visual Studio Code for debugging and testing. You can click on any of the logs to see the full payloads and filter the logs from the UI. It also supports real-time logging, which makes testing even easier since you can just send an utterance with a system simulator and see cloud logging in one place. Now, let me walk through with you and take a closer look at the features we are developing for the Google Home IDE. First thing you need to do is to sign in with your Google account that connects with your Meta devices. After installing the Google Home IDE in your Visual Studio Code, you will see a Meta icon shown on the activity bar. Click on the icon to open the sidebar of the IDE. Click on the Sign in with Google button it takes you to your browser and opens the Google Sign In page. Choose the account that you want to sign into. Then it displays a consent window that shows the required access for the Google Home IDE. Make sure you have checked all the checkboxes and click Continue. You will see a code displayed on the page. Please copy the code and then let's go back to Visual Studio Code to paste it and click Enter. Now you have successfully signed in with your Google account. Make sure that the email address is the one you want to test the integration with your Meta devices. Google Home IDE uses Surface accounts to get access to cloud features of your smart home projects such as viewing your cloud logs. So you need to configure which projects you want to access from the IDE with their Surface accounts. To create a Surface account, please go to the Surface accounts page in Google Cloud Console. Make sure that you are on the right project and click the button to create a Surface account. When creating the Surface account, make sure you grant this Surface account the role as Logs Viewer so that our IDE can read cloud logs of your project. After you have created the Surface account, select Manage Keys from the Actions menu to create a new key. It then downloads a Surface account key file that will be used in the IDE. Go back to Visual Studio Code. In Project Configuration, select the path where you store your key file. Once you have configured your key, you can open the Cloud Login window to see the logs from your project. If you have multiple projects you want to access from the IDE, you can add multiple Surface Account keys that associate with those projects. Once your Matter device has been successfully connected and appears in your Google Home app, then it's time to test control of your device with Google Assistant. Apart from sending voice commands through your Google Home app or smart displays, you can directly test control with the Google Assistant simulator in the Google Home IDE. Click to open the simulator from the sidebar and type in the utterance that you want to ask the Google Assistant. For example, turn on the light. And then you will see the response from Google Assistant. You should also check whether your device has successfully turned on. Try typing more utterances such as, is my light on? And then turn off the light to see if your device responds correctly. If you want to repeat some utterances, just simply click on the Resend button to save your time. Meanwhile, we also recommended that you should open the Cloud Login window at the same time when you send your utterances to Google Assistant. 
so that you can investigate event logs in real time that correspond to those utterances. Google Cloud Logging, formerly known as StackDriver, gives you capability to see event logs for your smart home actions, including sync, SQ, and notification. More importantly, errors are all reported with details in Google Cloud Logging, so this is essential for developers. And now, it is integrated into the IDE, so you can see logs in Visual Studio Code. Open the command palette and select Google Home IDE, View Cloud Logs. A window will be opened to fetch cloud logging generated in the last few minutes. You can click any of them to view the full message and copy it with one click. Also, filters are provided at top to filter logs messages by logger name and severity. You can also search the log by typing keywords at the top right corner. A button is also provided to refetch logs generated in the last 10 minutes. Another cool feature is real-time mode. Developers can enable real-time logging with the toggle at the top right corner, and it will refetch the logs first and then update the view whenever there are new messages coming in. It will also be enabled automatically when you send an utterance in a system simulator. So you will see cloud logs triggered by the command and export them in Visual Studio Code. And it will be automatically disabled after 10 minutes. And you can always enable it whenever you want. We are launching the Google Home IDE today with all the great features that are covered in the talk, including Assistant Simulator and Cloud Logging. Also, we look forward to adding more features to streamline developer processes and workflows. Further improvements such as downloading a service account key from your Google Cloud project for accessing Cloud Logging will not be required. One of the features we are working on is the batch utterances support on top of Assistant Simulator. With this feature, developers can save a sequence of utterances that you can easily run in one click and even use it with your automated testing. Besides, we want to integrate more developer tools into the IDE. For example, Home Graph Viewer, which shows you your device state, including device type, on the state and whether the device is currently online or offline. Also, the test suite for Smart Home is another tool that we plan to integrate into the IDE soon. With the test suite, you will be able to self-test your actions before certification. The tests are generated based on the devices and trades associated with your account. And when it's completed, Developers can submit test results for certification from the IDE. An Actions Console that enables you to configure required fields of your smart home actions in the Google Home IDE. We encourage everyone to download the Google Home IDE and try it out today. Check out the link here. You can find the latest update and the instructions to show you where to download the IDE, how to install and set up to get started. I hope you enjoy the development journey for Matter with Google. Thanks for watching.